Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is osteology of the scapula. In the last video we have covered the osteology of the clavicle. Those who have not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe now. Keep watching the videos. So we will start with the osteology of the scapula. Scapula, if you see, it's a flat triangular bone. It is located on the posterior thoracic wall. It articulates with the humerus at this shoulder joint. So this is the shoulder joint between this glenoid cavity of the scapula and the head of the humerus and with the clavicle at the acromioclavicular joint so this is the acromioclavicular joint how the scapula is suspended from the cranium if you see it is the vertebra it is not articulating with the vertebra it is suspended from the vertebra by the muscle trapezius and by the muscle serratus anterior so these are the most important features of the scapula now we will see the general features of the scapula scapula presents three borders namely superior margin medial margin and lateral margin the superior margin is represented by the suprascapular notch we will see the suprascapular notch so this is the suprascapular notch which is converted into the suprascapular foramen by the transverse scapular ligament. The scapula presents three angles. So this is the lateral angle. So this is the lateral angle of the scapula. We will turn the scapula and see. This is the lateral angle of the scapula called the glenoid angle. And this is the inferior angle and this is the superior angle of the scapula. The glenoid angle bears a pear-shaped glenoid cavity for articulating with the head of humerus at the shoulder joint. The scapula presents three processes. We will see. So this is the coracoid process. So this is the coracoid process. Coracoid process and the spine of the scapula which bears the acromion process. So this is the spinous process which is ending in the acromion process. Coracoid process it's shaped like a bent finger. So that is the bent finger. It is like crow's beak. It is an example for atavistic epiphysis. Atavistic epiphysis you should have learnt in general anatomy. The tip of the acromion is the lateral most so this is the tip of the acromion. It is the lateral most palpable bony point of the shoulder. So if you see the upper limb, this is the most palpable bony part of the shoulder. That's why it is called acromion. Acro means and above. Omo means above the shoulder. So this is above the shoulder. So this is the shoulder joint and it is above the shoulder. It is called acromion. Its superior surface of this acromion, it is subcutaneous. You can palpate it. And inferior surface is related to the subacromial bursa. The scapula presents two surfaces. So what is this surface you are seeing is the dorsal surface. It is characterized by a shelf-like projection called spinous process of scapula. The spine of the scapula divides this dorsal surface into so this is the supraspinous fossa and this is the infraspinous fossa. Its posterior free margin of this spine will be called as the crust of the spine. So that is the crust of the spine. If you see the another surface, that surface is called the costal surface. So this is the costal surface of scapula facing anteriorly. So this is, these are the surfaces of the scapula. Now we will see the palpable parts of the scapula. So you can palpate the coracoid process below this clavicle in the front. So this is how you can palpate just below the clavicle. So this is below the clavicle. Coracoid tip of coracoid process can be palpated in the infraclavicular fossa. And medial border is also palpable below the spine. And the inferior angle is a palpable landmark. If you see this vertebral levels, 
this interior angle corresponds to the yes this this interior angle corresponds to the inferior angle corresponds to the seventh thoracic vertebral spine so it is a useful landmark for the counting the ribs and the spine superior angles corresponds to the second thora thoracic spine so this is a superior angle second thoracic spine and inferior angle seventh thoracic spine now we will see the muscles attached to the scapula then we will thus see the special features of the scapula also first we will cover the muscles attached to the scapula muscles we should see for the muscles attached to two surfaces so this muscle you are seeing this is the subscapularis subscapularis muscle so this is the subscapular fossa so that is the place of attachment of subscapularis muscle and this muscle attached near the medial margin that is the serratus anterior now we will see the dorsal surface of the scapula so this is the supraspinous fossa so here muscle attached is the supraspinatus and in the infraspinous fossa infraspinatus apart from this along the lateral border some muscles are attached so you can see here so this muscle is the teres minor so this is teres minor and another muscle attached is the teres major near the glenoid cavity is the long head of triceps so these are the muscles attached to the uh, surfaces costal and dorsal surface so over the spine you can see uh, some muscles are attached so here so over the superior border of the spine and also the over the inferior border of the spine over the superior border of the spine you can observe superior border of the spine is yes. superior border of the spine gives and also the acromion superior border of the acromion that's that gives the place of attachment of the trapezius and if you see the inferior border of the spine along with the acromion process that is the attachment of the deltoid muscle so the, these are the muscles attached to the supraspinous infraspinous and also the subscapular fossa along the medial margin and also along the lateral margin muscles attached to the coracoid process are the yes we will see the coracoid process some muscles are attached here so this coracoid process gives attachment to pectoralis minor and also coracobrachialis and short head of biceps if you see the supraglenoid tubercle yes this supraglenoid tubercle yes here is the muscle long head of biceps so these are the muscle attachments of the scapula now we will see the special features of scapula that is the triangle of auscultation lower part of the medial border of the scapula so if you see this is the lower part of the medial border of the scapula laterally and lateral margin of trapezius medially so we will turn the scapula medial margin we will take so this is the medial margin of scapula and here this this is the lateral boundary of the triangle here is the trapezius medially and latissimus dorsi below so this place is the triangle of auscultation so this triangle of auscultation may be as this short notes now we will see the neuromuscular neurovascular relations of the scapula neurovascular relations the superior border present suprascapular notch we have seen already suprascapular notch again we will see so this is the suprascapular notch which is converted into the foramen by the transverse scapular ligament so what structure passes in this foramen is suprascapular artery passes in this foramen suprascapular nerve passes through the foramen so here is the suprascapular nerve will pass 
अबव द लिगमेंट सूपरा स्कैपुलर आटरी विल पास सूपरा स्कैपुलर नर्व अंड आटरी सो विल सी दिस सूपरा स्कैपुलर नर्व अंड आटरी विल एंटर दिस फोजा सूपरा स्कैपुलर फोजा देन एंटर द वी विल टर्न हियर दिस सूपरा स्कैपुलर नर्व अंड आटरी from the supraspinous fossa enter this infraspinous fossa through this spinoglenoid notch so this is the spinoglenoid notch the lateral border is related to circumflex scapular artery so this here in the lateral border a large artery runs is the circumflex scapular artery the medial border is related to the transverse cervical artery or dorsal scapular artery so these are the neurovascular relations of the scapula so we have seen in detail the features of the scapula attachments of the scapula special features vertebral levels and also the neurovascular relations of the scapula if you see what is this applied importance of the scapula winging of scapula what is winging of scapula if the serratus anterior muscle where it is attached we have seen yes this is the serratus anterior muscle so this is the serratus anterior muscle so which is attached here which keeps the scapula over the thorax thoracic wall if this muscle is par paralyzed in which the vertebral border and the inferior angle of the scapula so this is the medial border or vertebral vertebral border and also inferior angle of the scapula protrude so from the thoracic wall posterior thoracic that will be called as winging of scapula so that is the applied of uh, importance of scapula winging of scapula may be again as just short notes for you so now we have covered so many features in this scapula one more important point i covered is coracoid process is an example of atavistic epiphysis again this may be the short notes for you so those who have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe now we will see the osteology of the humerus in the next video do subscribe now keep watching the videos thank you